to make ends meet? Or, what would we do without the telephone? I'll see you tonight, then. Yes, all right. Now, I said I'd come, didn't I? Wish I could see you now. Well, you can't, can you? You just have to wait. But, supposing the telephone could provide vision as well as sound, then he could see her now. Wouldn't that be better? Yes, marvellous. But, whether we should always want vision or not, what kind of facilities can we expect in the next generation? <laughs> At the post office research station at Dollars Hill, a new distribution system is being planned which could make available a wide range of new customer services. Supposing that every house were linked to the communication network by a wide band coaxial cable. In this model, the main coaxial cables run from the exchange to roadside cabinets, here and here and here. From the roadside cabinet, Closed rings serve groups of buildings. This ring, the yellow one, serves the houses in this crescent. Another ring, the red one, serves the houses in the main road. And another, the orange one, this street. On these rings are concentrators containing switching equipment controlled by data links from the main exchange. The final distribution to the user may be by small coaxial cables, the white ones, or by millimetric radio links. If we have a large building, we may put the concentrator inside it. Now that we have given every user direct access to the main wideband system, let's take a look at the sort of facilities we can give him. Worldwide communication, of course. Hello, Bill. This is Henry. Who? Who did you say? Henry. I'm calling from London. Gee, that's a pleasant surprise. Uh, how are things in your part of the world? Well, it's a dark, wet morning here. I suppose you've been basking in the sun all day. And, when we want it, view phone, in colour, using digital transmission by pulse code modulation right into the customer's premises. Well, let's have a look at you, Bill. Right, Henry. Picture coming up. Gee, it's good to see you, Henry. You're certainly looking fit. How's Betty, Bill? She's right here now. Come over here, Betty, and say hello to Henry. Hello, Henry. Long time no see. But we can do much more than that. Library services, transmission of documents, share prices, bank statements. Let's take a look at the subscriber's terminal unit. To make a call, we take our service card. The code will be scanned electronically and establishes the caller's identity for charging the call. As she keys, the digits appear on her viewphone screen. Suppose she makes an error, she can clear and start again. Now press the connect button. Robinson and Harbottle. Uh, Mr. Harbottle, please. The call fee is shown as the time you get for one new penny. I'm putting you through to Mr. Harbottle. Do you want vision? Yes, please. Press the vision button. Good morning, Miss Johnson. Nice of you to ring me. Oh, now about the renewal of the lease. I understand you had second thoughts about it. Yes, it's the proposed new road that's worrying me. I've got the plans here. It may help if you see exactly what the proposals are. There. Now, that shows the new road. Documents like this are transmitted in accurate detail by a slow-scan, high-definition process. I'd like to take a copy of that. Yes, I think you should. Pressing this button suffuses the screen with ultraviolet light and imprints the copy on the photosensitive paper. Let's suppose now that she calls a number that is engaged.
press the call again button and the exchange equipment will store the number until the call can be connected. Another facility is the auto answer. The tape system answers incoming calls and records any messages. Or she can take with her the paging device, which can call her anywhere in the building. Other services are available through the exchange processor using the X and Y buttons. For example, the display of bank statements direct from the bank's central processor. But the most useful of all could be the availability to everyone of a wide range of computer services. In the home, as well as in business and in education. Yes, that's a straightforward repayment mortgage. On the other hand, with the endowment insurance, we'll get the tax relief as well. Endowment policy with profits, without profits. There are so many choices. What we want is the one that will be cheapest for the first few years. Well, let's find out. We'll put the options to the computer. Mm. Now, let's see. Computer services. X25. There we are. House purchase. That's the one we want. Code 20. Now, let's take the endowment insurance first. That's two. Amount of loan, 3,000 pounds? No, 3,500. Right. Purchase price of property, 5250. 5250. 1938. Now, we're nearly there. With profits, without profits, compare both. That's the one we want, code four. Well, there you are. It looks like it'd be 20 years before you can afford to get married at all. Oh, no. Given all these facilities, the businessman will scarcely need to go to his office at all. He can do all his work in the comfort of his own home.